here we're gonna remove some of these i'm at it this one is solid no problem no no rot this one it does have rot so i'm gonna add a cusco board right here in case i need to add a letter make it stronger give it more maturity here i'm on i'm gonna add a, a half inch cruise board fiber gladian so i don't have to use a rivet i'm going to use stainless steel to tie them back together all right document today it looks like we have a lot of rotten problems it looks like somebody walked at this boat before but didn't do a good job repair this side visually and spec is good condition this side is run that's also run that's also run to fix this problem i come up with a solution instead of cut everything down and remove everything my plan is to remove all this foam this is 1738 it's been wrapped so it's pretty strong i'm not going to tear that up what i'm going to do i'm going to put a board next to it and fiberglass next to it to give it more strength so the last work i have to do that's label here this part's all rot i'm just going to add another half inch strip on top of this for a fact i know some of the wood inside is rot on this string and not all of it but some some part right here the key is if i can wrap it up again to make it seal tight the key is to keep air from going in there to run continuing but like i said it's already wrapped with a, it's more than 1738 so that fiberglass is solid rock hard the easiest way is to add another i said i can add three quarter inch and have fiberglass on top of this give it more strength This one, this finger, these two are still good condition. I go into and look at it, there's no problem. This is a little big thing. I threw the wood in here. It looks like there's no run, but we know that the water got in there. But keep it a few more days to dry. This part drains fine, so we have to efficient. It's this part that holds water sometimes. So the key is, I'm gonna wrap this part up with the 1738 remove that drain raise it up a little bit and add a bigger drain all right same thing with this wrap it up 1738 and i'm also going to rewrap this with 1738 and around there to give this more strength visually what i call here we have a little problem right here a little crack right here but that's a normal the water sits in there the key is to seal this part up. Don't let the water go in there. I know it's going to rain, whatever. The water is right here, go back in there. I plugged it, put it from going in, but that didn't help. That's how it's going. This one's still sturdy. No rock. I'm going to also wrap this part up with 1738 to give it more strength. Other than that, it should be fine. All right, look at that sucker rising. Shit, I think I put too much on that side. Ooh, I'm gonna have a mess in my hand. All right, looks like I put too much. <clears throat> That's why I got it rising up too. Oh well. All right, guys. Over here, I use a flex seal rubber. Here's the reason why I do this. 
the carpet sits right here the water is kind of absorbed in the carpet so when it's wet you know what that means huh? the carpet holds the water and the fiberglass deck sits on it time at the time eventually it's gonna run out of that wood so what I do is I use a flex I cock around it and I put the liquid flexor on the flex seal as it harder it's like a rubber cushion that'll help it and the rubber does, that does not hold the water so that will help much better oops over that one all right over here I also gonna paint the flex seal on it to help waterproof and help the boat actually as the boat bounce you know the deck but the power gas rope against this rope power gas actually wears it out also that's what the old design was all this food was packed i guess the, the fiber has some kind of rope against it and makes it leak and the water gets into the wood and rot in the wood so that's the problem with that see by doing this flex here hopefully i will solve the problem but we'll, we'll see how it goes i bought this board for seven grand uh, 7500 including the motor so i spent about three grand fixing it already all material uh, oh. so see how it go i'm about to paint all this with flex seal because here's the bad design to also the water tends to sit on this a lot so it's over there when the water sits on that and here sometimes the water back into the cup so I kind of seal up the cup. I'm gonna put a pump in there, self pump to help pump the water out if the water ever gets in there. Here we have drain. I had over here. I had two small drains to get rid of the water. But I'm also gonna add another drain on top of here in case the water gets in there so fast it rises up. It'll help fall off right here. Same thing with the mirror. I'm doing the same way. I'll show you guys. 